The content of this video report is from the Labor Code of the Philippines, which is a legal code that determines all employment practices and legal relations in the Philippines. Good day everyone! Now, I will be discussing about the hours of work. Before that, the employers and the employees should know about the working hours. It is because these are key components in knowing the productivity growth and hourly wages. According to Article 82, the coverage of these shall apply to employees in all establishments, except for government employees, managerial employees, and field personnel. Hence, according to Article 83, the normal working hours of an employee shall not exceed 8 hours a day, excluding the meal periods. The Article 84 or the hours work pertains to the working hours of the employee. This is classified into two. First one is the required time or the required working hours of an employee. This is when an employee signed a contract that he or she will work from 8 to 5 p.m. Then he should be on the prescribed working area for him to be evaluated by the employer. Second is when the employee is permitted to work. Next one is the Article 85 or the meal periods. It has been said that the employee shall have 60 minutes or 1 hour of meal periods or time off. So since it has not been stated in the law that an employee can consume, should consume it fully within an hour, so the employers or the company has the privilege to break this down into two for example 30 minutes during lunch time and 30 minutes in the afternoon so it depends on the company or the employer now let's discuss about the article 86 or the night shift differential it says that for each hour of work performed between 10 in the evening until 6 in the morning night shift differential shall be paid of not less than 10 percent of its daily wage this is computed hourly Let's say, for example, an hourly wage of an employee is 100 pesos. So that 10% of it, which is 10 pesos, shall be given to the employee every hour. That is night shift differential. Now let's discuss about the Article 87 or the overtime work. It says that an employee is compensated for the extra 25% of time work. Which means to say that if an employee is having an overtime work, he or she shall be compensated with his regular wage plus the 25%. Next one is work done on a holiday or rest day for more than 8 hours. This shall be compensated with at least 30%. So, 8 hours of holiday duty plus the 30%. Next one is Article 88, where undertime shall not offset by overtime. Let's say, for example, you have done undertime, it is because you have emergency at home. So, this undertime shall not be offset by overtime. Kasi, yung overtime is may bayad yun. That is why, hindi pwedeng maging kabayaran ng undertime mo ang pag-o-overtime. That is against the law. Next is Article 89 or Emergency Overtime Work. It says that an employer can ask an employee to work overtime if country is at war, there is national or local emergencies, there is serious problems, accidents or calamities such as floods, earthquakes, typhoon or an endemic. Next one is there is an urgent work that needs to be done like installation of machines, equipment for the company. The next one is the when the work is necessary to avoid like perishable goods or to avoid losses for the companies. And lastly, when the completion or continuation of work started before the 8th hour, this is to prevent obstructions to the company or to the employer. Last is Article 90 or Compensation of Additional Compensation. It says that the regular pay of an employee shall contain only the cash wage without deduction. So the employer cannot deduct anything regardless of the 
facilities that he or she provided to the employee. So, dapat buong makuha yon ng employee. Depende na lang kung may mga loan sila. So, that is another case or that is another topic na naman. So, that's it for now. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.